Hello, Dawn Hunters! We are somewhere in the middle of Thailand, hopping from one incredible island to another. Right now, we are on a mooring ball at Koh Yao Noi, known for remarkable monkey trained by a man to gather coconuts. We've recently upgraded our off green catamaran with all new systems, and in the last two episodes, we started exploring this stunning island. Now, we are heading out to find a mysterious place called Holy Water. This is the only one place in the world that's super special. Only one of its kind in the world. Break your chains off. We thought there were monkeys in here and they're the hornbill. The elusive birds are very hard to find and there's two of them sitting right up there looking around knowing that we're not gonna get any closer to them than this. This hornbill is not some kind of hornbill. This hornbill is called curry bird or also gag bird. I'm walking here for five minutes and we already see most rarest birds on the planet. This hornbill on this particular island is the smallest of all hornbill species. I have prepared all about this island. I also read a very interesting fact about these birds here on this island. An egg of hornbill being sold from 4,000 to 6,000 Thai baht to around 100 that makes it valuable enough to steal their eggs and sell that on the black market. So the villagers of this island made a new initiative and they even built them special nesting houses and they're watching for every little egg not to be stolen. I'm over here knowing nothing other than they're very pretty and it's very quiet. I'm attempting to fly the drone but every time I get closer they fly away. Okay, we're gonna ride with you. Yeah. So we just got offered a ride, and here we are, riding instead of walking. Thank you for the ride. Hand delivered to the front of the coffee shop. This this island, the best people I've seen ever. I love clean feet in a clean house. William is very grumpy in the morning without his coffee, so I'm trying to bribe him before we go on our adventure. William's not grumpy. William just enjoys his amazing retirement without a schedule, without a clock, without anything that is planned. Coffee for the grumpy man. Coffee for nice, happy young wife. Delicious. We have sent mail from this cafe to our patrons, filled out a postcard, and thank you guys that gave us the address. So become a patron and get extra perks like this along the way. We are on an island here and meet all of our subscribers from Transylvania. And for those guys, I picked the black Transylvania scooter today. This is gonna be interesting. A life of adventure. <laughs> when you drive on the wrong side of the road, Jan is the one hanging over the edge. You're gonna to be too close to the ditch, you're gonna fall over. I can hear it already. Guys, let's see, what are we doing today? Where are we going? Stress, traffic, tears, anger, worries, misery, happy and heaven. I hope we're not going to heaven just yet today. <laughs> so let's go to happy. We just have to stop at 0 0.50 meters instead of going to heaven because it's same direction. I think we can find something that's a half a meter away. I've got the rocket here. Oh, where's my Ducati? I must say, pink fits you really well. Pink is going to be leaving if you better get in here. <laughs> At 
the doctor, I'm all about health. Health, of course, starts with what we eat. That's why I'm super jealous of you guys, because you get to order America's number one meal kit. I used to struggle with cooking, to go shopping. If you go eat out or you go to your friends, then you have the food and it rottens and then you throw it away. William is screaming at me because I'm wasting food. Now we can just focus on cooking and enjoy the results. With summer behind us, we're looking for wholesome meals that save us time and money. HelloFresh has something for everyone. You can customize every box to fit exactly what you want. And the pre-portioned ingredients mean you only pay for what you actually need. And HelloFresh makes it easy to adjust your delivery from week to week. You can mix and match options like fit and wholesome, family friendly, vegetarian, even skip a week or two when you go on that very much needed vacation. And when the seasons are changing, of course they have this new seasonal flavors, new menus. I know how Americans are obsessed with pumpkin spice and it's included. As a doctor, I say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That's why all subscribers get free breakfast for life. Click the link in the description or use my code and get 10 free meals and free breakfast for life. You'll get one breakfast item per box while your subscription is active as far as you are in the USA. If you are outside of the US like us, don't worry, the local discount will still apply. Guys, support this channel by subscribing to HelloFresh by using my link below. Every purchase helps us make more great content for you guys. You know guys, I actually do prefer this over the scooter because I have my own seat. I can look at the view, look at the nature. Back up! <laughs> Watch the curb! We're gonna fall in! You're gonna be too close to the ditch. You're gonna fall over. I can hear it already. Here. This man is not listening to me. I'm like, can you ride in the middle of the road? I like this because no one's jabbing me in the stomach and the back to slow down. Although we're going a hair raising granny speed, freedom. That means a very steep downhill. Hope we have brakes and hope this little cart doesn't disattach now. We pick you up on the bottom. <laughs> I don't think this cart was meant to do that. Water known to be miraculous. What else to say? We're gonna go try and find it and rejuvenate ourselves. I think I'm gonna go up first and see what's around us, and then we'll go down. Do you see it anywhere? I don't see it. I think it's dried up. Maybe it stopped running. Let's try looking this way. I think where it might be. Look, there are stone road with stones on each side. I think we have to follow that. Wow, there are like thousands of shells, guys. But no, they're not shells. They are not. They look like oyster shells. They look like oysters to me. <laughs> William loves going through the mud. I'm walking on the rocks to stay out of the mud, but frog croc here decides that mud is much more fun. Well, you didn't propose to me to walk on the rock. That's why you can only find it when the tide is low, because otherwise it's covered. So what's happening, guys, when the tide is high, all of this huge area is covered with salt water. This never to be found. Then when the water goes away, natural fresh water springs fill this little hole. It's not salty at all. This is the only one place in the world that's super special. Look at how it's just bubbling out of here. It's a natural spring. It's a little salty. If you go kind of like this, more towards the center, 
Yeah, then it's not salty at all. I feel blessed. <laughs> Because where else in the world you're gonna find something like that, be able to experience it on your tongue? Are you impressed? Very impressed. This is how much water this little spring is putting out. There's a miniature river here that's flowing all the way out to the ocean and it's the fresh water. Look at this pilgrim going through the mud. <laughs> People have come out here and used the rocks to build a small seawall so that the mud and everything doesn't come and fill up that little location. A lot of work and this is all underwater half of its life. amazing to find something like this that's not only natural but it's also been taken care of and available where people like us don't even have to pay a park fee to get inside to take a picture yeah I feel spiritually enriched so they have built a huge concrete cistern which is a tank and the spring water comes up in the tank and fills and fill your water bottle <sighs> smells like holy water looks like holy water tastes like holy water <laughs> Very nice, just like natural spring water. You never know when we're gonna need some on the boat. Let's go. True Dawn Hunter fashion, we are running low on fuel and I'm not sure if we're gonna make it. Yana can always walk and fill up a water bottle. And I'm gonna turn around and get some fuel. We have different octanes, which is different colors for either your scooter, your car, or even for your boat. So this guy also is a machinist. His lathe is outside for making long shafts. Make long tail. Make shaft here? Pro, pro. And the shafts that are used for making long tail in the middle of the jungle. Oh yeah, they hit, boom, yeah, yeah. and then break. Yeah, and this machine bends the steel so he can make tubes round anything. My father was a carpenter. I was growing with wood since the age of five. So when I got about 12, I ran a lathe like this, ran the milling machines, do the welding. So the skills I have today on the boat all started back here, just like this, in the back of a barn. Can you make anchors? Uh, yeah, yeah. Custom anchor out of the rebar, and there's the old rebar. I know where to come if I have to do any repair work. In the jungle. Can we go eat somewhere? The girl drinks a little holy water, and now she wants some bread. Having been in Thailand now for almost a year, everybody is so intense on collecting water bottles, plastic, anything that's plastic. And here, along different parts of the road, there are certain bags that are strategically placed where you can stop and poke your plastic water bottles in there. This is where the eggs are hatched for the dinghy that we have been using, the little plastic guy, recycled plastic. Madame, your chariot awaits. We heard there's food here for hardworking men. Beautiful little place with an ocean view. What are you having? As always in Thailand, huge menu of 50,000 dishes. If you guys watched our last episode, we went to Italian restaurant and the owner was Italian. But this place also has Italian food here. So this owner is also partially Italian. Or possibly some Italian boat shipwrecked here years ago and now they're all making pasta. Surika, in number 10, please. One pad thai with prawns, please. Sideways, this one, with okay. chicken, uh, but no onion. Thank you. 
Japonka. I got amazing Thai dish called Pad Thai, which is made out of rice noodles. And this one is made of shrimp, and now the chopsticks come. Japonka. William has allergy on onions, so he always asks for no onion. But here in Thailand, we also ask not too spicy. But when you ask once for onions, then we forget to ask for no spicy. Beet, carrots, ginger. Mm. <laughs> William tried my juice. It's not juice. I feel like a cow. Mm. All kinds of green kale. Tastes like a pasture for the goats. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Holy basil. So now we can try them. Oh, wait. Chopstick seal. <laughs> you have to squeeze the lime, squeeze the lime, squeeze the lime, and then very hot dried peppers. And these are fried peanuts. When we were coming to Thailand, one of our very good friends told us not to eat peanuts. Peanuts are brought here on the ship. Rats are shitting on them. Mmm, yummy. Special rice that's fried with soy sauce and mixed with vegetable and chicken. Every rice in Thailand comes with a cucumber. Hey! <laughs> Delicious but spicy. As you guys can see, I forgot to ask about not spicy too. Look at the boat. Did you do something to my food? I didn't touch your food. It surely tastes like soy sauce. Suspicious activity. <laughs> Great meal, just two of us in the whole restaurant, but mine was <sighs> quite spicy. And as always, I finished my plate and William is still eating. Yana is the Rocky Balboa of eating. She's the champion of eating food so fast that I look down, it's like, where to go? And she moves to mine. Fresh cucumber. My expectation of this beautiful island was so wrong. I thought, just because it was so close to Phuket, there's going to be like 1,000 tourists running around here. No tourists whatsoever! It's so tranquil, so calm. The locals were able to keep this island so Thailand. <laughs> I definitely don't want to go yet from it. Another instance when you can't just assume something when you're traveling on the boat. You gotta come there and see for yourself.